Hi, I'm Chad with Move For Guitar. This lesson is from our series, How to Read Music for Guitar. In this lesson and the next two lessons, I'm going to talk about repeat signs and notation. First off, if you like all the diagrams for this series, including the diagrams for this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, How to Read Music for Guitar. But I am working on it right now as I'm filming this lesson, so it might not be available as you're watching this lesson. If it is available, a link will pop up on the screen that will allow you to download it. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to download it when it is available. This is part 26 from our series, How to Read Music for Guitar. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So, so far we've been looking at notation like this, where you would just start down here and play it through to here, going from left to right. And then depending on what was happening at the end, if there was another measure, you'd just keep going. Or if it looked like this with a thicker black line and then a single line, that would mean to end there. Now we're going to actually look at repeat signs and repeat notation, which I'm sure you can figure out what that means. It just means that it's going to send you back. So you're going to go from left to right still, but then you're going to hit some sort of sign that's going to send you back to some location, and then you're going to go back towards the end again. And the repeat signs and the different notation, all of them are going to give you different types of repeats, and that's going to determine where you go back, how far, and then how many times you repeat something, and then when you go to the end again. And in this lesson, I'm going to cover a few of them. And then in the next two lessons, I'm going to cover more of them. So the first repeat sign we're going to look at looks like this. And this is an end repeat sign. So if you were to read this, you would start down here at the beginning, obviously. Read from left to right. Then once you hit this end repeat sign, you would go all the way back to the beginning and then go again. And then that second time through, you would end. So you go through one time, you hit the repeat sign, go all the way back to the beginning, and then go through one more time. And that's what that sign means. And it doesn't have to be at the very end of a piece. It could be somewhere else in the piece. And if it's somewhere else in the piece, if it's not the last bar, you would still do the same thing. You'd play until you reach that repeat sign, the end repeat sign. And then you go all the way back to the beginning. And then the next time through, you would go past it all the way to the end of the piece, wherever that is. So if it's not on the last measure, that's how you would do it. You would go up to the sign, you go all the way back to the beginning, and then you would go past the sign the next time to wherever your ending point is. And there's also a start repeat sign. And so if you have both a start and an end repeat sign, that means this time you play all the way to the end repeat sign. This time, instead of going all the way back to the beginning, you go back to the start repeat sign, and then from there, you go to the end of the piece. So that's what the start repeat sign does. It just stops you from going all the way back to the beginning once you hit that end repeat sign. You're just going back to the start repeat sign. But everything else remains the same after that. Or you could also see something that says play four times, and if that happens, you do the same thing that I just showed you. You play up to the end repeat sign, then you go back to the start repeat sign, and then in here you would repeat this bar, this measure, four times. And then after that you would go to the end. And it doesn't have to just be within one bar. I've drawn it within one bar here. It could be two bars. It could be a whole bunch of bars from the start repeat sign to the end repeat sign. I've just drawn it with four measures, so I had to keep it within the four measures. But it could be a bunch of measures apart. But everything would be the same. You would still go to the end repeat sign, go back to the start repeat sign, and then all the way through to the end. Next thing we're going to look at is first and second endings. And they look like this. So you can see these two brackets up here that say 1 and 2. That's first and second ending. First ending, second ending. And the first ending has the end repeat sign. So what happens is you start at the beginning, you play to the end repeat sign, you go all the way back to the beginning, and the next time through, you play through to the second ending. But you would skip the first ending that time. So start at the beginning, play to the end repeat sign, go back to the beginning, and then play all the way through to the second ending, but skip the first ending this time when you do it. So that's what first and second endings mean. And you can have more than just two endings. And then again with first and second endings, you can also have a start repeat sign too. So again, it would just be the same thing as we talked about before. You go to first ending, then you jump back to the start repeat sign instead of back to the beginning. And then from there, you go to second ending while skipping the first ending. 
So those are the first repeat signs that I wanted to cover with you. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where I'm going to talk about more repeat signs and notation. And be sure to download the e-guide. All the diagrams are in there. And be sure to subscribe because we have at least one new lesson every day.